Hello, my name is David Brooks, and I'm speaking for Oleg Chernoff. In this video, I will tell you how to export Lightroom and Photoshop plugin presets to a 3D LUT creator and create 3D LUTs from them. Some of you may ask, why would I need this? You may say, I can already use Lightroom or Photoshop to process my photos. As of December 2014, you can in Photoshop CC 2014 export to a 3D LUT. But currently in Lightroom, this does not allow you to do this. This is unfortunate as there are many amazing presets available for Lightroom. For example, there are the famous VSEO presets. Of course, you can apply them to the video file by loading the video file into Lightroom and exporting and loading back to your video editor. But there's a much better way to do this with 3D LUT Creator. When working with photos, you can use exported Lightroom presets as adjustment layers in Photoshop. You can also change opacity and draw a mask create actions, and so on. The first thing you need to consider is to have a matching color profile of the video file and the hauled file. The profile should be the same. If your video file has an sRGB color profile, you should assign an sRGB profile to the hauled file. And also, you should export the hauled from Lightroom or Photoshop also as an sRGB color profile as well. Otherwise, the colors will not match. Let me show you how to check the color profile of the hauled file. To do this, I will load it into Photoshop. Next, click on Edit Convert to Profile menu. In the source space box, you'll see the current profile of the hauled. In my case, it's already sRGB. To assign a different profile to it, one should use the Edit Assign Profile command. Please notice, that the working RGB box shows you the current default Photoshop setting for the RGB color profile, but not the current image profile. Next in the combo box, I can choose the profile I need. In this case, I don't have to reassign the profile, and we're good to go. Now let's open Lightroom and pick a photo. This one, for example, could also be a still from a video. Let's apply a preset to it. Secondly, please pay attention to the Lightroom develop parameters that could be exported. Those are settings that affect tone and the color of the image. The other settings that are frequency dependent or effects cannot be exported. Let's make a list of them. You should not apply all local adjustment tools from the upper section. You should turn off highlights, shadows, and clarity. And also detail, lens correction, and effects sections. Everything else can be successfully exported. So, let's reset highlights and shadows. Clarity is already zero, and I'll also turn off detail, lens correction, and effect. Also on this image, I can use the tone curve to compensate for the lack of highlights adjustment. Now we can copy the develop settings by pressing Control shift c There will be a window where I can turn off copying of local adjustment brushes. These are brushes, gradients, retouch, and crop. I can leave the reset settings on, as we already turned them off, so I'll leave highlights, shadows, lens correction, effects, noise reduction, and sharpen. I click copy and now I will open the hauled file that I already imported into Lightroom and press Control shift v Now this file is processed with the Lightroom preset. Next I will export this file and click with the right mouse button and choose export. The third thing to remember is the settings when you export. Let's name the file tone underscore one hauled. In the settings, I will choose TIFF, no compression, 16-bit, and choose sRGB color profile, as the source file also has an sRGB profile. Also, it is necessary to turn off the image size settings, output sharpen, and watermarking. Click export. As you can see, I switched to the desktop, and here's my file. Now let's open 3D LUT Creator. I'll load my photo to it, switch to the mask tab, 
and load the halt file. In the combo box, I will choose input. So now I have the same effect as I had in Lightroom. Let's compare those images. Here's Lightroom and here's 3D LUT Creator. As this external LUT is applied before all the tools of 3D LUT Creator, as you can see this in the block diagram, we can apply some corrections to this LUT. For example, I will improve the skin tone a bit. Okay, now I will have less magenta and more orange. Let's compare it with the original file. Here's before and here's after. And now, if we would want to use this preset in some video editor, we can open File menu and click Export 3D LUT file. And choose the file format for the video editor we're going to be using. Also, we can open this image in Photoshop by pressing LUT to PS. If Photoshop is not running, it will open up and load Photoshop, and the color lookup layer will be created, applying this preset to the photo. Here's without, and here's with the preset. Let's close the image. Now I'll switch to Lightroom and apply a different preset to this image. For example, with this one, let's check the perimeters again. I will turn off detail, lens correction, and effects. I'll press Ctrl, Shift, C. Local adjustments are already off. Click Copy. Choose Hold File. Reset its settings to default and apply new settings with Ctrl Shift V. Now we'll export it. I'll call it Tone 2 underscore Hald. As you see, the export settings have remained the same. Let's open 3D LUT Creator, reset AB grid settings to default, open the mask tab and choose external LUT file. Here's the result. Also, we can control the effect of the preset with the mask in 3D LUT Creator. Here we can change the preset effect to shadows of the image or to the highlights. Now let's do this once again with another image. I'll choose this preset. Check highlights. Shadows and clarity again. Turn off detail, lens correction, and effects. Copy settings. Switch to the hauled file. Paste settings and export it. Let's call it tone4 underscore hauled. Switch to 3D LUT Creator. Load the image. Load the external hauled file. Here's the comparison once again. Here's before and here's after. Now let's try to export the preset from a Photoshop plugin. I'll open Photoshop and load this image. I'll use this plugin. Most of you probably know it. It's called Color Effects Pro. Once again, you won't be able to use all the presets, but only those that affect nothing but tone and color. I'll choose the cross processing preset. The original one was fine, but let's leave it and add another filter that affects only the color or tone. Let's go with this one, for example. and press OK.
here's before and here's after. Now I'll load the hauled file to Photoshop. To apply the same filter to the hauled file, I can press Ctrl F as this is the last filter I've used and its settings are stored. Now let's save this hauled file. Choose File, Save As. Here we can leave everything as it is and save it as a PNG. I'll call it Tone 5 underscore hauled. I'll switch to 3D LUT Creator and load my image to it. Now I will load the external LUT and this is the image that you get. Let's compare it with the one we have in Photoshop with the Color Effects Pro plugin. As you can see, the images are quite the same. With this method, you can export Lightroom presets and some of Photoshop plugins, save them as a 3D LUT format, and apply those presets in a video editing software or in Photoshop as adjustment layers. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to our channel, press the like button, and feel free to write comments and join our official group on Facebook.